Hey everyone, it's Bass Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video. And I'm shooting today's video because I've noticed a kind of like discrepancy between what I play out as a DJ these days and what I show in my chart hall videos. And uh, I thought I need to clear this up kind of or like break down on like what I play out and like what I buy in terms of vinyl because um, if you see me playing like at the Mojo Jazz Cafe which I'm well becoming kind of a resident these days there is this mostly like organic music like dub, trip hop, new jazz, down tempo, a little bit of like broken beat, broken house stuff and like funky breaks and, and all that jazz and you never like see me showing this kind of stuff in, in videos in my recent chart hall videos and um, I thought this needs to be cleared up kind of and when I look at my record collection which is quite huge and uh, I'm moving a little bit away you might see some part of it and a little chaos there because I've pulling, been putting out like a lot of records recently to listen to and stuff and uh, didn't manage to put them back well my record collection is like a huge puzzle so I got like a I don't know, 5,000, 6,000 vinyl records in my place. And as I've been buying for 20 years, I've got like a big like stack of house music, a big stack of drum and bass, a big stack of like trip hop and stuff. And like also a few dub records, which I play at the Mojo Jazz Cafe and, and also hip hop and whatever techno, gaba, hardcore and stuff. And what I've always been doing is like buying the, the records that are like essential for me in one genre, like when they come out. I don't necessarily need to buy like, well I see that in the records that I work at, like when, when people start out to DJ, they, um, well, they like, like Tech House for instance, and then they buy like every, or like 30, 50, 100 Tech House records in like a very small amount of time that's a thing I I have never done because I've been like all over the place genre wise and uh, I like a lot of stuff from like acid house to hardcore to whatever dubstep and I've always picked the records that are es essential for me and that reflect on like what is the, the very core of, of a genre for me so um, when I come out and like go like play at the jazz cafe for example and like there is, I, I pl plan to play trip hop or new jazz or whatever. I've got a like, huge selection of, of stuff I um, can pick from. And usually I do that without like going into the record store and to buy like a few new trip hop records maybe for, for a special set. Because I've got what I see as essential in the genre already and when there is one trip hop record maybe coming out that is like fresh and I'm very interested in and stuff and I see this as a record that can be played like in 10 years time as well I'm gonna add this to my like trip hop puzzle which sits in my collection and the same goes for like techno and house and stuff so I pick or I'm well, I'm not very picky, I'd say, but I'm more like, I'm, I'm pretty selective in what I buy. So if there's one record that really grabs, grabs my attention and stuff from a genre, I've got like, I don't know, 200 records from or like 300, then there will be like, I see, I, I listen to the record in the record store and then I know exactly, well, this will fit in between this record and that record, or this will go well or mix well with, with two other records in this context and stuff. And, so then it's just a another like fraction added to the puzzle when I add up like one house record to my house selection. And this is uh, the reason why I actually don't show like a lot of maybe trip hop stuff in my chart hall because well I, I don't buy much like new trip hop stuff and what I buy these days is more experimental, not that club well club oriented maybe. Well if I look at the, the next chart hall video to come, there will be a lot of like dancey, clubby records. So this isn't true always, but uh, what I buy a lot is like records that are more exper of experimental nature, mostly drone, noise, industrial, as you've seen. And also the, the Duke footwork Chicago sound, which I need to 
build the stock of because I'm, I'm pretty much interested in that kind of music and because it's like pretty complex and very layered and stuff and, and rhythmically advanced so it's not that easy to mix and you have like to, to make up new mixing techniques for this kind of music because the well standard transitions you have in techno don't work necessarily for this kind of music because there's like different tempo layers and stuff so you have to be a little more creative and this is a genre that is uh, well still developing i guess and there's not much available on vinyl so when there's stuff coming out like tech live releasing new records and stuff or like well footwork records on hyperdub i'm pretty keen to to get them because i'm always interested in genres mostly when they are in a, at a developing stage and when they're not that formulaic like for example dubstep my favorite era in dubstep was like from i guess 2003 where there was Sublow, which was like kind of proto dubstep and nobody was talking about that kind of music in germany back then but like from 2003 to maybe mid 2007 when everything was still like vibing and creative and like not every dubstep record sounded the same and like there was no formula like for you know wobble dubstep halftime dubstep and like the hard bro step stuff which came later and so um i kind of bought a lot of, of that kind of stuff between like 203 and like 207 and after things became formularic my interest went kind of down and the same went for grime for example so i, I got a lot of grime records from the era like 03 to 07 and then after things became well then grime, grime went a little bit down in terms of like attention and then the, the new school of grime there's not much that interests me because it's, it's too polished so oftentimes i buy music in genres that are like developing and stuff and the same goes for the african music i buy these days like nozinja and uh, i don't know the ethiopian jazz have i shown ethiopian jazz records already i don't know but um this kind of stuff so this is why you see a difference between um what i show in my chart hall videos in terms of music I recently bought and I recently liked for, for this month and in what I play out. So if I'm going to play like a more techno shows in the future, maybe. So I'm working on that, like finding me maybe a booking agency to represent my needs as an artist. And I might not be the one that plays out like always a, a selection of 30 very new records in, in like a techno show. But I, well, my taste is always like a bit of it's always been a little bit off of the, the beaten path so when i play out like 30 records and like a lot of them are like kind of old or older it's pretty well how to say that it's pretty likely that uh, a lot of youth and like young clubbers young ravers don't know the records anyway because they have been not that popular when i bought them like with a with a mainstream of like techno djs so I still can present something new to people even if the records are like a few years old because these are records that might have been not seen a lot of attention in the clubs or were a little bit too advanced or like too maybe a lot of broken techno for example which is like a techno sound with a more broken rhythm um, and this kind of stuff hasn't been popular for like ages and now things are becoming more like mainstream really edible in that kind of st uh, style and a lot of more djs are starting to play that and if i pull out my old records from from that genre um they are still new and fresh to, to the people on the dance floor so this is my dj approach is more like um teaching people about about music and about like good stuff no matter if it's like old or if it's like new and i still manage to to blend things together and Recently, I've done like a DJ mix. I don't know for for what um, what was the, uh, the reason why I did it, but in this mix, I had like a time span of like house from the early '90s to house I bought like in 2016. So, and within an hour, I could blend them together like effortlessly. And also for my for my mixtape, I've got out on on Jamoni Music recently the transmission from the underground tape. The oldest track on there is like from 93 which is like a very dark jungle tune very hot dark jungle tune which was out even before the term dark jungle was coined for this kind of music 
and within that mix i've got like from 93 to like 2016 i got like all these tracks blended together and like bills in like a story a dj mix that doesn't make sense and is uh, like brings out the essence of that genre for me so uh, this is my approach as a dj and this is why you don't see me showing a lot of like new club records because the additions to that genres are like scarce and rarely done but i'm not right now i focus more on stuff um, that thrills me musically which i stuff i haven't heard of like before which goes for the african music and also like all the industrial experimental stuff and i will also also have like a platform for this kind of music to play out on the radio maybe in the future like we're working on like radio programming and stuff but i will keep you updated on that so well a lot of rambling in this video but i thought i need to break that down a little and if this made sense to you like uh, leave me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and stuff if you want to see more about electronic music and more about like my experiences in electronic music and stuff and before you like uh, leave the video and stuff uh, be aware that i'm gonna play at the mojo jazz cafe on like february 4th and i will play there in the context of the 45 7 vinyl club alongside Pilox, who is like the real guy responsible for the 45 7 vinyl club series which is a club night dedicated to uh, seven inch only, 45s only, and I will play a freestyle set of 45s in that night. And I've also done a experimental DJ mix for them, and I have done a video about this DJ mix and announcement video, which will like pop up here somewhere. So if you see that, like, um, or if you wanna see the link to that uh, to that mix, just pop in that video and like check that out and stuff. And I'm gonna go into editing. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you on the next one. See you later.